where many, a growing list of Democrats are calling on the Attorney General Jeff Sessions to resign. One of those Democrats who is calling for the Attorney General to resign is Congressman Ted Lieu. He's right there. He serves on the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committees, and he's joining me now. Congressman, I want to get to Jeff Sessions, but first I want to ask you about Sarah, what Sarah Murray is reporting. The, and the New York Times it, it laid out this morning that the Obama administration, that they, they rushed to preserve and pass along intel much intel as they could about Russia contacts with be, be, Russia contacts with Trump aides before they headed out of office. In one case, of course, passing along to the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. You're on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Do you or any other member, did you or any other member receive any similar documents? Uh, thank you for that question, Kate. Let me first say that America, we have a problem. In less than two months of the Trump administration, we now have two high-ranking officials that lied about their communications with the Russians. First was Michael Flynn, now it's Jeff Sessions, but what he did was worse. He lied Congressman, under oath to Congress. Let's, let's get to that in one second, but did you, did you get any documents from the Obama administration? I personally did not, but we will be inquiring and investigating based on the new New York Times article. You're going to be investigating. Do you have yes. the head of the, does the, does the, Republican, the Republican head of that committee agree with you on that? We're certainly going to ask, and my hope is all Republican chairs start investigations now because where there's smoke, there's fire. And when the smoke is so thick you can't see, you need to have investigations. You need to have special prosecutors. All right, so let's get to Jeff Sessions. Uh, you are calling on Jeff Sessions to resign his post. You also say that he's playing dumb here. I saw that in a tweet from you this morning. Why yes. do you say that? Yeah. Jeff Sessions keeps changing his story. First, it was that he didn't have any communications with the Russians. Then it was he had communications but didn't know what he said. And then last night he said, well, he had the meeting, but he definitely didn't talk about communications with the Trump campaign. But in the congressional hearing, the question asked of Jeff Sessions was, did you have communications with the Russians? And Sessions said he did not have communications. That's a lie. That's perjury. He needs to resign. An investigation needs to be opened up to see if he should be prosecuted. Congressman, senators talk to ambassadors all the time. I checked in with senators this morning just to make sure they do all the time. If Jeff Sessions clarifies that he understood, the, he misunderstood the question, he understood the question to mean that he that it was talking to Russians about the campaign specifically, would that be enough for you? No, because consider the context. First of all, no other member of the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee or Armed Services Committee had this meeting with the Russian ambassador. This was sort of the issues that were happening. You don't really forget about a meeting with the Russian ambassador. And then, not only has he not clarified, he's changed his story. So it tells me that he is not telling the truth. I sit on the House Judiciary Committee. We have oversight over the Department of Justice. We can't conduct it if executive branch officials lie to Congress under oath. So what are you going to do about it? Okay. We're going to call for a special prosecutor. In fact, we need two special prosecutors now, one to investigate Jeff Sessions, one to investigate the connections between Trump and Russia. And keep in mind, what Sessions did was so serious that Congress passed an entire law on it. There's a law that says executive branch officials cannot lie to Congress at congressional hearings. It's 18 U.S.C. Section 1001. Congressman Liu, thanks so much. Thanks so much for that. I appreciate your time.